Welcome back to week two. It's been a whole week. I can't wait to find out what you've been up to. And tonight at eight o'clock will be our very first Friday Night Live show and tell. So get yourself a nice drink, get comfy, and um, we can get sharing and see what you've all been up to, which will be fab. If you haven't already signed up, um, if you go to my website, it's www.hanararia.com, and then you click on the online workshops. If you type in your details, we'll send you all the information you need to join us on the live and all about the posts that we'll be updating each Friday. And before that, we have our weekly QI with Pete the Elephant to tell us a little bit more about dragonflies. Dragonflies are insects belonging to the scientific order Odonta, from the Greek for the toothed one, named because dragonflies have serrated teeth. Dragonflies begin their lives as larvae, called nymphs, living in the water often for several years, during which time they develop in stages, molting their outer skin each time they change. In their final change, like a comic book superhero, they shed the hard shell of their final larval stage, extend their folded up wings telescopically and take to the air. The Donta have two pairs of wings, one behind the other. Each of their four wings is controlled by separate muscles, giving them incredible maneuverability in flight. They can quickly change from hovering to shooting off in any direction and quickly pull tight turns. This final stage of life as a winged insect just lasts for a few days or weeks, during which time they mate and lay eggs to start the next generation. The British Dragonfly Society tell us that in Great Britain and Ireland, you may encounter about 30 species of dragonfly. There are more than 5,000 species worldwide. Many dragonfly and damselfly species are in serious decline. Many are critically endangered. So protecting wetland and river environments and water quality is essential. Okay, so this week we have special guest Mandy joining us and she is looking particularly gorgeous today. She has gone all out on the makeup front. We do like a little bit of drama in our workshops. So she's got full on face paints and she is rocking that look. So we've got, we're going to be making upcycled dragonfly decorations and these are amazing. So good luck and enjoy and thank you Mandy for hosting today's workshop. Hi, just Mandy here. I'm helping Hannah with her Art for Wellbeing workshops. You're about to see my video of making gin dragonflies or dragonflies out of drinks cans. I don't normally dress like this, but all in good fun, hey? Have fun, be creative, and I look forward to seeing your magical creations. Enjoy. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these little beauties. Dragonflies, I call them gin dragonflies because I use empty gin cans. So what are we going to need? Empty drink carton cans. Um, these are my gin ones. I like them because they're so pretty. They've got pretty designs on them. But um, other drinks, like Coca-Cola, anything like that can be used, of course. Other than your empty drinks cans, you're also going to need a mixture of beads. Maybe you've got some broken necklaces or bracelets or maybe somebody around has got a lovely little pot of bits and pieces you can raid. You're also going to need some wire. Um, I've been using craft wire. Uh, you may have florist's wire. You may have trusty pipe cleaners. Or even 
those handy little bag ties would do. You're also going to need trusty scissors, uh, a knife or a craft knife. I've got a craft knife, but a normal sharp kitchen knife would be useful. You're also going to need either a pencil or maybe the end of a paintbrush. Um, just something so that you can emboss or engrave if you like the wings. Obviously you don't have to do that. You're also going to need some glue or a glue gun, either or. Right, so let's get started. Take your empty drinks can. Um, I pop mine on a little towel because it helps stop it rocking about so much. It's a little bit safer. What we're going to be aiming to do is we're going to be aiming to cut the can so that we end up with a flat sheet of tin. I found the easiest way to do this is by first of all cut, cutting into it with a sharp knife um, obviously if you're not an adult ask an adult to help if you are an adult please go carefully after i've made the first incision um, i like to swap and use my much safer scissors. I'm going to be cutting all the way round the bottom, along here, and then all the way round the top. Right, so now you can see we have a relatively flat sheet of tin um surprisingly it's quite easy to cut with normal scissors um this edge is not too sharp i mean you know i've still got my fingers right next stage i'm going to do is to cut out your shape and um, this these are going to form the dragonfly wings I've got a little cardboard template here, but obviously you can do it freehand should you wish. Uh, place the template onto the tin. Draw around. Like so. And then we're going to cut that out once again. I like these tins because of the design on the front. Um, I love the little birds and the flowers. So I'm going to incorporate that into part of my wing design. Um, oops, as you can see, that's what I've done with this one. Pretty, hey? Right. So now we have cut out our wings. Now you're going to need four for each dragonfly. Our next step is that we are going to um, pop a little design, just to make them a little bit more interesting, onto each of the wings. Now, the tin is pretty soft and it's really relatively easy to pop a design onto. Um, you don't have to, obviously, but as per, I like to go a little bit extra. To pop your design on these, um, have something soft underneath, either a piece of cardboard, a trusty tea towel. Uh, to do the design, you can do it with the end of a paintbrush. A pencil maybe 
you're only going to dent it so the design won't actually show up right i'm going to just do some squarely signs Far from perfect, I think you get the gist of it. Next, our little dragonfly is going to need a body. I've done this with wire. Um, I think it's about 25 centimetres in length. Uh, choose your beads. Fold the wire in half. And it really is as simple as threading little beads on giving it a twist like so there we go uh, you can also use trusty pipe cleaner Perhaps a little bit easier if you've got little people. The beads go on these quite easy and they're nice and colourful. You want to be aiming for sort of about six, seven, eight beads. Depends on the size of your beads, obviously. Thread it on. We're aiming to get something like like this um the end bit i've twisted off at the top and made some antenna you could even put a bead on the end of those um just let your imagination run wire to be quite honest right as you can see we've got a little body coming on now on the top one to stop them all sliding off Take the wire and just simply double back on it. Otherwise, all your beads are going to come sliding off. There we go. I use these end bits and I twist them there we go let me get some little antennae I'm no biologist I'm not sure if dragonflies have antennae even but that, it kind of looks right trim the excess wire off like so so now we have a body right now it's time to attach the wings to our dragonfly I like to use my trusty glue gun I pop the wings on what looks like upside down because um, obviously I've got dragonfly's body here face down so when we turn him over we have our little fella dragonfly so why stop at dragonflies uh, you could test out maybe a butterfly pipe cleaner body and wings maybe 
O. I've created this little sunflower. Um, I do love a good sunflower, nice and cheerful. All I've done with this sunflower is I've used the middle bit of the can, which is the bottom for the middle, trimmed off the excess, cut out petal shapes, a bit similar to dragonfly wings really, for the petals, glued them down at the back and attached them onto a barbecue skewer and then painted in acrylic paint. The possibilities are endless. Thanks Mandy, that was awesome and I love the makeup. I seriously am thinking that I might have to start doing that myself soon actually. <laughs> okay, so next week will be week three and we're gonna be making small aquarium jars. So I've got your shopping list again. You might wanna get a pen and paper. So, now this can vary, okay? We're gonna give you a few ideas but you can literally just use what you've got around the home really. Um, basically, um, sweet wrappers the kind of cellophane ones are quite good to sort of create like a transparent a sort of film effect which is quite cool so that might be a good idea but not essential if you haven't got them in okay um cocktail sticks are handy um what we're hoping to do is to kind of make a little model of like a fish either using um air dry clay fimo and if you haven't got that even like icing sugar i mean We've got this fantastic lady in our group called Tracy who makes the most amazing cakes and it is literally like art on a cake. They're like sculptures. So I've asked her to um, film herself making some little icing fish. But again, just use what you've got. Plasticine, even Play-Doh, it doesn't have to be something that's set solid. Just use what you've got because it's all about having fun, okay? And it's not necessarily even about the end result, but hopefully these will look pretty effective. Um, battery operated tea lights would be good um, but not essential um, and paints and paintbrush so kind of just gather up the bits you've got and we'll work with whatever you've got but it'll be great fun and we're looking forward to seeing you next week and hopefully join us on the live tonight bye